to download and install Virtual DJ, go to virtualdj.com. Then on Virtual DJ's website, go to the download section on top of the screen, hover over that and over here I have the download option. Then select your operating system, either Windows or Mac. In this case, I am running Windows, so I click on Windows. Now you will see that it starts downloading Virtual DJ by looking at the top of the screen and you can see it is downloading Virtual DJ. Let's wait a couple of minutes for the download to finish. Virtual DJ is now downloaded. I can click on this icon over here that says downloads. I can click over here, but if you've missed this or you clicked by accident on this X icon, then go to File Explorer and then go to the folder Downloads. Something similar like this is on the Mac, a download folder. And then you can click over here by double clicking on Install Virtual DJ. Now the first screen pops up. You need to accept the terms in the license agreement, so check this box. And now click on Install. In the screen that shows now, click on Yes. I'm sure I want to install this software. And the installation itself is already done. Now click on Launch Virtual DJ. The software is now automatically started. But if you want to start Virtual DJ the next time, you can find an icon of Virtual DJ on your desktop. To start the software, double click on this icon and the software will be started. The software is started and to prevent the nag screen that you see over here from showing the next time, uncheck Remember Me and click on the X icon over here. Now it warns you that a couple of features will not be available. For now I'm going to skip the connection. If you want to use all those extra features then you need to supply a password. But for now let's click on skip. It detected one of my sound cards. Probably with you, uh, you have probably another sound card or a built-in sound card. In this case, um, I'm choosing my external sound card that I have over here. But in your case, probably it won't detect anything if you have the standard computer speakers. Like when you have two sound cards, then you need to select Okay, uh, I noticed that my sound cut out when changing the sound settings in Virtual DJ. So um, I'm going to narrate this part. When you have multiple sound cards, then select the sound card that you want to use with Virtual DJ and then click on OK. If you don't want Virtual DJ to ask every time it starts, then select the option Don't Show again and then select OK. In the next screen, it asks if you want to watch some tutorials, please do if you want to get familiar with Virtual DJ or you can watch some of my videos on this YouTube channel. But for now, we're going to click on the X icon to close this screen. And now you're ready to use Virtual DJ. Check out some of the videos here on the screen. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.